In 20 years, I participated in at least five to 600 operations, including forced contraception, forced abortion and sterilization, and forced removal of wombs. Young women were fitted with contraceptive devices. Pregnant women would have to have an abortion, then sterilization. We even inserted birth control implants into women's upper arms to prevent pregnancy. This is how the government persecuted the Uyghur women. We lost a part of our body. We lost our identity as women. We will never be able to have children again. They cut out one of our organs. It's gone. Sterilizations among women in the northern province have increased dramatically. In 2018, 243 were officially recorded, but in the rest of the country there were just 32. You have a program that fulfills one of the criteria of the United Nations Convention for the Prevention of Genocide, namely the suppression of births of the targeted group. For two years now, the state has been running a program called Pair Up and Become Family. This is only for the Uyghurs. Millions of Communist Party spies are being sent to stay in Uyghur homes. They pair up with Uyghur women while their husbands are tortured in prison camps. The videos show that the Chinese government has been settling Han Chinese from other Chinese provinces into the Uyghur region. Hakikaten aç baskınçılık kılıç pek eğer evcep ketken ki. Çünkü açıçla evcep ketken bu başka, uyuyaydık Hıhtay sakçıla sorak kılıç diye arayımda tört beş sakçı birleşip sorak kırgen kızlarını baskınçılık kıldık ya nöbet bu içe. Baskınçılık kıp oğan den ki yine yine öyle ki den bağlı nemli gen tuğuk. Ayak bulan benim dün dövürüm gen azıp kalktan kuru uğrup açtan kurdum gen yani yerden falan sayede o işlikler gen çık çır bakırıp gitti onda kılma uğruma uyuşkan da işini bilmeyi de orta kıydı. Yer biz a a kudu mu yer biz a a kudu bir yer ağır üstü de bulanın da oyundan bir günüm öz sülü bol deyim geldim bir saksan anlat bol zamanla bol deyim beni öttürü etmiş sülü bol deyip bir bir gün şu oylaydı bunu nasıl biz öttürü etmiş sülü bol deyip deyip when I was in detention, there were a lot of women who had desires and dreams, and they talk about what they would do if they ever left. And I told myself that now that I am out and before I die, I would be their voice. I'll make sure that they are heard. 